I believe that technology should be a solution. And so what you should do is you should use technology to so solve a problem that you have. Technology should not be a product looking for a job. I think that's a, a bad way to do it. So as healthcare providers, what we've done here is we, we recognize our problems, you know, and it's in a real state like this is access to healthcare. And then you look for products that help you solve these problems. And that's what we've done. And, and that's why using something like Viewpoint and, the, and high resolution imaging provides a solution to a real problem we have in a rural state like this. I think that where you live should not determine whether you live or die. And so, in fact, that's the way it is in many states with rural populations. It's true of urban populations as well, but it's particularly true of, of rural populations. I grew up in rural Alabama and I saw primarily a primary care physician more, than the, more, more often than not. And he was a really, really good guy, but there's just a limit to how much you know, that he could do in providing care. And you certainly can't have maternal fetal medicine doctors in populations, you know, 2,000, you know, 3,000. You need a large uh, population to provide high-risk OB um, support. And so by, by doing this, an MFM now provides health care delivery to thousands of tens of thousands of patients simultaneously. So it increases our catchment area and it increases our ability to access patients. So it's beneficial to us as well as the patients. I can now spend the majority of my time delivering care to sick pregnant women rather than having to see routine patients. Where Viewpoint and Bodysun comes, you know, becomes involved is we get those good images using Volusun. They're coming to Viewpoint. Just say if uh, something was abnormal and you got an APN triage in the scan, she can uh, call in at MFM. He can pull that image up because while they're scanning, those images can be transported and he can look in real time and look at a still image also. We still have to document what went on with the patient. And so um, very early in the process, we decided to add Viewpoint, which we were using here at UAMS, with the idea that the ultrasonographers would document in the, in the peripheral sites. These images would be pushed by DICOM across the network and would be stored in our server. We also simultaneously often push the images to a local hospital server as well. So we copy the image and send to both places, but we keep a copy here. The MFM uh, physicians report out of Viewpoint, and that's kind of the, the uh, document that we use for the, the consultation, and that's what we send to the referring physician. So in a very short period of time, the patient has a consult. We interpret the images, and the report goes back to the physician um, where they're practicing. So they get the added advantage of us storing the images for free and then rapid access to the reports and rapid uh, completion of the consult. So our turnaround times have been reduced from you know, weeks to, to hours now. Well, for the patient, the benefit is clear that now people in rural areas have access to subspecialists not possible without this technology. They would have to drive sometimes three or four hours. Um, and while Little Rock is not a massive metropolis of, of like New York to people in rural areas, it seems like it is. And so they're often very afraid to come here and they're afraid of traffic and they're afraid of finding the doctor's office. So there are a lot of problems with that. And so since we've started the telemedicine program, less than 10% of the patients that we do consults on travel to Little Rock. And once we make a diagnosis, we often manage the patient in their home environment over time so they don't come here unless they have to be delivered here. So it really has dramatically changed the way that we do things in the care delivery uh, to the benefit of the patient.